what are the stages and grades of prostate cancer? Traditionally, prostate cancer severity was described according to what is called a Gleason score. A Dr. Donald Gleason was a pathologist, a person who examines tissues who developed it in the 1960s. Not all prostate cancers are equally dangerous. Some grow and spread very slowly, while others may, do, may spread rapidly. Dr. Gleason noted that cancer cells tended to fall into five distinct patterns as they change from normal cells. Uh, the cells are graded on a scale of one to five. Grade one cells look like cancer because their growth patterns are abnormal. They're spreading into normal tissue, but they look much like normal prostate tissue. A grade five cell is high grade. It's changed so much it no longer even looks like a normal prostate cell. Grades two, three, and four fall in between. These numbers give us a good idea of how aggressively the cancer will behave. The higher the number, the more aggressive the cancer. Tumors are often mixed in cell type. You may find one part of the tumor has one Gleason grade and another one has another. So they'll look they'll at two numbers, the most predominant pattern and the, and, and the next most predominant. So one area may be a Gleason three and another may be a Gleason four. They'll add those two numbers together to determine the Gleason score, which in this case is seven. Gleason scores almost always range from six to 10 with six being the lowest grade cancer. A Gleason score of six is low grade, seven is intermediate grade, and eight to 10 is high grade cancer. One of the issues about this scoring system is that patients didn't understand what it meant in terms of their risk. So they've been introduced in 2014, they've introduced what they call grade groupings. They call it a risk group. Low and very low is a Gleason score equal to or less than six. Intermediate is a Gleason score of seven and high and very high is a Gleason score of eight through 10. So this helps the patient understand uh, what the nature of the tumor is and how, uh, how soon it needs to be treated and how aggressively it needs to be treated. Prostate cancer is also staged in terms of whether it is local or whether it has spread. If it's a stage one, it's localized in the prostate. If, if it's stage two, it may have spread a little beyond the prostate uh, stage three is more extensive spread, and stage four is is distant spread. So basically, the cancer is graded and is, is is described in terms of its aggressiveness, with, in terms of the grades and the grade group and the Gleason score, and also how extensive it is.